Hello friends, I have several fruit trees in my backyard and some of you had requested a video on what kind of fertilizer schedule I have for my fruit trees. In today's episode we will discuss how to add fertilizer for fruit trees. So let's see what you need to start your fertilizer schedule. Firstly, you will need some kind of compost or manure. In this case, I'm using chicken manure and steer manure. And then you will also need the fertilizer that you're using and also a cultivator. You will use the cultivator to mix in the fertilizer. You need the fertilizer. I'm using this fertilizer for a long time now. It's a great fertilizer, organic with added beneficial bacteria and I'll provide a product link to this in the video description so that you can buy this product. So the most important aspect of starting a fertilizer schedule is to make sure that you start at the right time. Now I usually start my schedule in about February or March when the plants start showing some signs of growth. As you can see here very closely, this plant has begun to show some signs of growth and this is the perfect time to start your fertilizer schedule. Now in my zone, which is zone 9B, I start my schedule in February. So what you do is just take the fertilizer and sprinkle it around the base of the plant. And remember, you can do this same procedure for fruit trees that are there in either containers or on the ground. So let's start by looking at how you add fertilizer to containers. And then what you do is once you add the fertilizer, you top it off with the compost or manure. In this case, I'm using manure, but you can also use homemade compost. The more compost you add to the soil, the better it is for your plants. Compost has a lot of life in it. It has a lot of beneficial bacteria that will really help your plants grow. And even our organic fertilizer has a lot of beneficial bacteria. So that should also help. Now what you do is just make sure you mix it in the soil around the base of the plant. And if you have a little shallow roots, do not worry. Uh, you can just remove them uh, from the surface. The roots that develop deeper into the soil are the ones that are better. As you can see here, we just removed one and uh, make sure there are no weeds around the base of the plant. And most importantly, once you add the fertilizer, you need to water thoroughly. So for this container size, we are looking at at least four gallons of water that you need to water the plant with so that the plant starts getting the nutrients and you also avoid any kind of fertilizer burn by watering your plants well. And let's see the same procedure again. This is for the Meyer lemon tree. We're going to be sprinkling the fertilizer around the base of the plant and then mix in the compost or the manure. Now, what you can also do is mix the fertilizer and the manure together and then spread it along the base of the plant. But uh, just so that I show you how much fertilizer to use, I just separated these two steps. And as you can see here, we are using probably about two or three cups of fertilizer for a plant of this size. If you have bigger plants, you might want to use more fertilizer. But uh, no matter what you do, if you're using about three cups or four cups of fertilizer, uh, that should be sufficient for most of the plants. And we do the same thing now. We rake in the soil. We use this cultivator, the handheld cultivator, to mix in the fertilizer into the soil. And eventually, this fertilizer will get in deeper. So do not worry about that once you start watering the plant. And we're going to follow the same step. We're going to water this plant thoroughly. And once that is done, your fertilizer application is completed. Now, I do not recommend using synthetic fertilizers for mature trees. 
if you're seeing that your trees are not growing very well, you can use a synthetic fertilizer. I'll also provide a link to that uh, fertilizer product in the product link. But remember that it's not an organic product. So if you're okay with it, you can go ahead and use it. There are absolutely no problems. You can still go ahead and use it, but it's up to you what you want to use for your plants. And now we are going to see the same procedure, but this time our plant is in the ground. Uh, this is our Washington Naval Orange. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to mix in the fertilizer with the manure or the compost. You can use either one of them. So once you mix it in, you just spread it around the base of the plant. And uh, this is a smaller plant. I mean, it's a smaller tree. If you had a larger tree, you can spread it along the drip line which is basically the outermost part of the plant where if you had to water the plant, the water falls down towards the base of the plant. That's the outermost ring of the plant. And make sure you add the fertilizer from all sides. And if you have any leaves, if you have any kind of mulch already present, just cover it back. And that should eventually decompose and add even more nutrients to your fruit trees. And this is our fertilizer schedule. Remember the most important part is to start when the plants are just beginning to show some signs of growth and then follow the schedule that you see on your screen. So after about seven to 10 days of applying your fertilizer, you should see a lot of new growth in your plants. And that's an indicator that the fertilizer is working and your plants are growing well. And if you follow this schedule, You'll be able to grow healthy plants that produce a lot of fruits, delicious fruits that you will enjoy. So I'd like to know from you, do you follow a fertilizer schedule right now? Or were you looking to learn how to add fertilizer to your fruit trees so that you can get started? And I'd also like to know whether you use organic fertilizers or synthetic fertilizers and what do you prefer? I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.